So now we're going to look at absolute value functions and moving them around. So first of all, I want you to notice something. The absolute value function of f is centered at 0, 0. So it's centered at the origin. Now, if inside the parentheses I subtract 2, look at the effect of that. The subtracting 2 moved the input two spots right on the x-axis. So I'm just going to write moved two spots right. Now, something else is interesting. If I did the absolute value of x plus 2, well, look at that. From 0, 0, I moved two spots to the left. It's quite an interesting pattern there. So what I might ask you guys is what if I did the function y equals the absolute value of x minus 8? Where is that going to be centered? So I'm going to go ahead and graph that. So y equals the absolute value of x minus 8. And to put that in your calculator, you can press math, number, ABS will give you the absolute value function, and you just type in x minus 8. And then let me uh, change my viewing window to just a standard or zoom 6. And you notice the center of this looked like that. So it was moved eight spots to the right. So I'm just going to mark this as eight and move that eight spots to the right. So when you're inside underneath the absolute value function and you subtract, you add 8 right. What about if I did x plus 8? What's that going to happen? So I would think that's going to move at 8 spots left, but let's try it out. So x plus 8, and it did. It moves at 8 spots left. So it looks like if I subtract, it moves at that many units to the right. And if I add, it moves it that many units to the left. However, if I don't do an operation inside the parentheses or inside the absolute value to the x and I subtract 2, well, look, it moved that function down 2. So subtracting 2 not in the absolute value moved it down 2. And adding 2 moved it up 2. So notice that the number two in the equations uh, describe how the addition or subtraction affects the graph. So let's make some functions here. What if I did the absolute value of x plus, say, 7? This 7 moves it 7 up. If I did y equals the absolute value of x minus 6, that minus 6 moves it 6 spots down. Well, let's start combining it with this information. What if I did y equals the absolute value of x minus 4 plus 2? Remember, when we did the minus 4, that moved it uh, 4 spots. But, but when you minus, it moves it to the right. And then this plus 2 moved it 2 up. So that kind of answers this question and this question. And we're going to uh, look at that more deeply in the next test.